Welcome back to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Today, I'm gonna to be doing some upgrades to my Barnett DRT-385 crossbow. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures, where we'll be in the woods or on the water with our family and friends. Let's find an adventure. All right guys, so I just bought this crossbow not that long ago and I decided to do some upgrades to the crossbow itself. As you probably can see on the table here, I'll go through what I'm going with here. Alright, so the first thing on the list is this Killer Instinct Dead Stop Decocking Point. So the reason why I bought this here is these crossbows only have three arrow quivers. Yes, if you're good enough, I understand you should have one shot, and that's how life should play out in a perfect world. It's not always perfect. So instead of carrying two arrows with broadheads and then one decocking arrow, what I can do is bring this with me. I'll have three arrows with broadheads on them, and then when the time comes, if I did not shoot a deer, I can put the decocking point on a bolt and I can shoot that to decock the crossbow. Now, now I'll see if it damages the bolts I have for hunting. If it does, then maybe I'll get a standard dedicated decocking bolt and then just have two arrows of broadheads, but I wanna give this a try at first. Next thing on the list here, I got some Luminac 20 inch um, bolts. The reason why I went with the Luminac is I wanted lighted knocks. I know you don't necessarily need them, but they're cool. And especially with the boy shooting the bow, I want to be able to see exactly where that bolt goes. That's why I got these here. I chose these instead of just getting another brand of arrow or bolt and putting my own lighted knocks on them. They come pre-installed so obviously it's easier. Also these bolts have some more weight to them than the Headhunter Barnett bolts that this came with. If you watch the <laughs> unboxing video, I messed up one of the knocks anyway so I was down to one arrow. So I got these, they're heavier. So the Barnett Headhunters are 380 grains with the 100 grain point. These are going to be 421 grains with the 100 grain point. Also like these because they have a 92 grain brass insert in the front to help with FOC. Now 92 grains is a weird number. I don't know how they got that, but that's what they say. It's 92 grains. Helps with FOC. Now in the crossbow world, FOC might not matter as much. However, coming from the compound world, FOC to me matters a lot. So I went with these. Then I went with the Claw All Grip No Slip Rifle Shotgun Sling. Yes, it says rifle and shotgun, but it's going to work fine for the crossbow, I'm sure. The reason why I went with this one is back forever ago when I had a Wildcat C5, I had a claw crossbow sling, but I wasn't able to find one in stock anywhere. So I picked this one up at the local store, uh, local Dunham's, same place I bought this bow. I did try off camera, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did try a Limb Saver Kodiak something, but I just could not get it to fit with these swivels. So I don't know what it was, it could be me, but I was having a real hard time with it. So I took that one back, got this one instead. And then the last upgrade or update, modification, whatever you wanna call it, is this True Glow Opti Speed Lossy Calibrated Crossbow Scope. Looking online, I know Raven has a real nice one, but they're super expensive. There was another brand called Bear, I think, and it's not like Bear, like Fred Bear Archery. It's some other bear, but that had bad reviews. This one had okay reviews. I didn't see really anything bad about it yet. 
Um, the reticle is pretty cool. I'll try to put a shot of the reticle here on the screen. It does illuminate and it's velocity calibrated so you can dial it into how fast your bow goes. All right now I am a little concerned. I mean to be honest with you I had a True Glow gobbler stopper at one point and that thing disintegrated with the three and a half inch turkey loads. I know crossbows don't kick so I'm hoping that this works out but for the price and the reviews this is the best I was going to get so I'm going to give this a shot. I'm not saying that this Halo 4x32 is a bad scope it just has lines in it. Um, it's not illuminated I wanted to go with that one I wanted to be fancy and I think this will help my son to be able to see red crosshairs instead of just lines this also has the yardage next to the crosshairs so I can tell him 20 or 30 and he can find that instead of trying to tell him third line down you know so went with this scope so let's start assembling this obviously the arrows or the bolts I'm not going to need to assemble so I'm going to just get them out of the way Or throw the claw, crossbow sling. Should be straightforward, but like I said, I did have trouble with that lens saver one. So I'm hoping it was just that brand of an issue. Also with that limb saver one, it was like a screw. You needed a flathead screwdriver to do it. It wasn't the quick connect. So you couldn't take it off in the field unless you brought a screwdriver with you, um, which, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't going to. So this one looks like it. because I don't know if that went all the way through or not. Let's get the side. I got a crossbow sling on my bow now, or a sling on my crossbow. Alright, so for whatever reason this is not going all the way through. It is just my luck I think with this bow. Oh, there it goes. crossbow sling now yay so I can throw that on my shoulder and it won't go anywhere help me lug it into the woods while I carry everything else for me and my son to go hunting all right so now I'm gonna take this scope off I'm gonna open the Opti speed scope and a bag. It looks like it has the rings attached to it already. Comes with the styrofoam. Comes with the battery for it. It comes with 
cleaning cloth, a manual. Comes with a little baggie here that has this Allen wrench in it. And then probably a sticker. True glow when brightness counts. Alright, so I'm gonna get move this box out of the way. I'm gonna pull this guy out. says do not over tighten max torque 20 pounds uh, I don't know what diameter that is but it I don't it's not 32 so I don't know how well it's gonna bring in light it's one thing that I'm gonna have to test it does have these flip caps which is nice you got to buy aftermarket ones I look through, which I know you guys can't see what's in there, but it has a crosshair from 20 all the way to 100 yards, which I won't shoot a deer probably past 40 with this, to be honest with you. Um, so let's try to mount it. This is a big scope, so I'm going to try to push it all the way forward. I assume that's what this is for. Why else would they give you an Allen wrench, right? This is good enough so that way I can check the eye relief. And see what it looks like. Obviously, I don't have a torque wrench, so I don't know if it's 20 pounds or not. But I'm just going to give it until it doesn't want to anymore and just back off. Something that you have to get a feel for. But the scope is now on. Uh, let's install the battery. So I probably need... I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver. So I have a little screwdriver here. I'm gonna try to, yeah, hard to take out. So you guys can see, I mean, just like any other battery compartment, right? I assume the battery goes up. Now it is, it looks like it's an etched reticle. I don't know, I'll read the box. I'm assuming it's an etched reticle from experience with other reticles that have crosshairs in it that light up, but. Let me check if the reticle works. I'm gonna turn it up. Yep, she lights up. It's really cool looking in there. I'm gonna have to take a picture of it somehow so you guys can see. All right, so she's installed. That is all the upgrades I'm gonna do to the crossbow. I got a new scope, got the sling, I'm going to have the new arrows, and I'm going to go from there. I think we'll be able to kill a deer this year. If you liked today's video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more outdoor content coming your way. 
As always, thank you for watching, and I'll find you on the next adventure.